another new look in downtown Oklahoma City. If approved, an entire city block will change. But history buffs tell Rusty Surrett they're ready to put up a fight on this one. Rusty? Well, Amy, they're not upset about what's going up. They're more worried about what will come down. But the people in the building behind me are the ones who are saying change will be good. It's probably best known right now for that Go Thunder banner that's on the outside. But inside, Sand Ridge Energy is renovating the former Kerr-McGee building. And the company would like to do the same for its neighborhood. The multi-million dollar project called the Sand Ridge Commons will create more open space in the area and will include a number of improvements to Kerr Park. But before any of that is done, several of the nearby buildings will have to come down. Preservation Oklahoma doesn't like that idea. Its executive director, Katie Frittle, says Sand Ridge should be embracing the history of the area. When we erase every old building, we lose that sense of where we've come from, um, that sense of the identity of the city. The group is also opposed to the idea of more open space in the heart of downtown. Thriving downtowns in urban areas need that density to have a thriving street life and you know, shops and businesses that work. And when you incorporate too much open space, that, that balance just doesn't um, happen the way it should. Now, Preservation Oklahoma has filed an appeal with the city's Board of Adjustment. That board will be meeting next month to make a decision about Sand Ridge's plans. But even after that is done, both sides, both Sand Ridge and Preservation Oklahoma, will have a second chance to appeal, but that will be done in a district court.